Okay, instructions downstairs. Right here is fine. Shake hands. Good luck to both of you. So no stare down. Neither fighter looked at each other. Holly Holm, 20 wins, just the one loss and a couple of draws. Lara Quente, more experienced. She has had 43 fights. She's got nine knockouts Ready? along the way. Ready? Holm with the height and reach advantage. Lara Quente, despite having much more experience, only three years older. And here we go, round number one. One thing we know for sure, Lara Quente is not going to be awed by Holly Holm. Because she stop, suffered some stop, losses stop. in the Great. past a few Box. years, past uh, two or three years, she's actually lost more fights than she's won. And one time she had a tremendously outstanding record and came into oh, the consciousness oh, no, no, of everybody, it seemed like, when she fought Christy Martin to a standstill outdoors at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas on the Phoenix Trinidad David Reed card. It was a fight that most observers thought she had won. So two experienced fighters here. Holly Holm, the undisputed waterweight champion, putting only one of her many belts on the line tonight. Holly's a bundle of energy when she gets in there. You saw her jumping around. She does more than just pace. Yeah, and no nonsense either. Now, Quentin felt that Holly Holm would run from her. I'm not sure that that's an accurate assessment of home. I haven't seen him run any time. Hands are free. Get your hand out of there, Belinda. Get your hand out. All right, stop. Stop. Break. Nice and relaxed. Box. Holly Holm, uh, without question, the most popular athlete in Albuquerque. Most, probably the most recognizable person in Albuquerque. The fights there always got big crowds. We saw her in, uh, before a sellout crowd did the fight. The, she defended her title against Anna Marie Saccarato last year in a tremendous battle. Yeah, tremendous, tremendous card, as a matter of fact, much like we've had here tonight at Pachanga. End of round one. Not much going on. Lara Quente complaining that she was headbutted a couple of times. Don't go straight back. You gotta use the corners. Your angles. Don't go straight back. Jab to her face. Straight back to the body. I know what it is. It's a program. She ain't got nothing for you. Listen, you know she's gonna hold. So keep your hands to yourself inside. Don't short shot. Oh, she gotta reach behind your little head. Ain't no problem, huh? All right. In her corner, Mike Winklejohn, whom she calls simply Mr. Winklejohn. They've been together right from the get-go. She says, why? I have no reason to ever leave him. He's done everything right for me. It's a really, really close relationship between these two. And there is part of the home family. Family drove 12 hours from Albuquerque to get here. Her mom and her brothers and brother's girlfriend. All on hand. I think it's a preacher's lady. kid. Yep. And her dad, the preacher, is here as well. First round, there wasn't much going on. It's a little hard to judge the round at all. Gotta watch those hit. She lets go, she lets go. Now I think home trying to settle down and uh, actually fight a little more than all that movement. Yeah. Here. Laura Quente, and we uh, touched upon this a little bit earlier, very involved in training fighters right, right now, really more of a trainer than she is an active fighter. But you see, you know, boxing's in her blood, so she likes to get in there. Yep. Still, even though, as I mentioned, she's been losing fights. She did have a very good win last year, uh, however over uh, Melissa DelVal in June. Let's kind of put it back into the mix once again. Looks as though she wants home to come to her. Good left hook from home. And when I saw Belinda fight Christy Martin, I really thought she was gonna be something very, very special. Hands are free, ladies. Let it go, Holly. Hands are free. She says, I know Holmes is, is uh, favored heavily over me tonight. I'm going to get in there. 
upset her and win or lose, I'll still have a, a, a pretty face afterwards. That's right, and she does. <laughs> well, what do In fact, there was a time we were interviewing the fighters earlier today. We kind of looked at each other and said, are, are we at a boxing match or a Miss America contest? I mean, <laughs> well, she is the biggest thing in New Mexico. We've talked about that. Step back and punch, ladies. Step back and punch. This is round three. So home uh, dictating the tempo of this fight right now, even though there hasn't been a lot of tempo. Good combination right there for home. Very quick handed. When I say I think she could become uh, more the face of women's boxing, I think in the last uh, 15 years or so, you could say that Christy Martin and then Lucia Riker and then Layla Ali were the face of women's boxing. And uh, Layla's not doing much, if any, boxing anymore. And so that the position is kind of wide open, Barry. And Holly Holm has a lot going for her. Yeah, she she can, can continue to, you know, improve and, and rack up uh, nationally televised victories. Maybe in the sensational style, she might have a chance to be up there. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. And I think we've seen a lot of that tonight, really. We've seen an awful lot of talent in the ring tonight. You can't emphasize enough how how far, and, I, and honestly, I'm not being a show for women's boxing, but I, I, I really do. I think it's, it's come a long, long way in a, in a relatively short period of time. 10 seconds. Stop at the bell, ladies. Welcome back, round four. Not a lot going on through the first three rounds. I've, I've felt that Holm has done enough to win each round. Yeah, I have too. But Belinda needs to make something happen here to kind of change the tempo of the fight. She's gonna need to come a little faster after Holm. She is getting out quick. Holm much younger. That is not a surprise. That's what she needs, a big punch like that. Yeah. But she's got to make it land. She has nine knockouts in her career. Oh, just kind of pushed her away with an elbow. And Quinte makes sure that Raul Caiz is aware of that. Get your hand out, Belinda. Get your hand out. Let her go, Holly. Hands are free, ladies. You know, you're talking about her trainer, Mike Winklejohn, and that she stayed with him. She's heard from people. Why don't you hook up with a more well-known trainer? And there's probably been some people, surrogates, who have put out feelers to see if she might be interested. But she's uh, very loyal that way. She yeah, likes she the way things are going. Well, they're going well. She said he took a chance on her. And other people wouldn't really look at her twice. And taught her everything she knows. As far as boxing, she was a kickboxer. Yeah. Probably not first. Just kind of started out as a, just an aerobic. She saw kickboxing, so let me try that. Come on. Found she was pretty good at it, and then found she was even better at boxing. Ten seconds. Stop at the bell. She was into swimming and diving earlier. Always been an athlete, soccer player. It's pretty good left hand from her. And the four. Hey, time, time, time. Round number five. Holly Holm in the peach color trunks. And Belinda Laraquente sporting the Puerto Rican flag. Even on her shoes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here's your scorecard. A shutout. I have it the same way. Yeah, but it's a shutout, but it's not a wipeout. Yeah, exactly. I just feel like Holm is just edging her a little bit every round. But Belinda needs a big punch to turn the pace of the fight. Home is making Lara Quinte miss. 
There's Mike Winklejohn down the corner watching his charge. Pick him up a little bit, Belinda. Pick him up a little bit. You know, that whole uh, Winklejohn home connection reminds me a lot of Kelly Pavlik and his uh, trainer, Jack Lowe. You know, in Youngstown, Jack Lowe, his trainer, a lot of people have said, hey, hook up with a more well-known guy. You know, Pavlik's a nut before. Yeah, it's going pretty well for him. The way no, 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 no. So long, push it. Head in my face, man. You be quiet, I'm going to take a foot away from you. Let's go for that combo. Now be spooky. Let's go. Box. Ralph Kai is the no-nonsense referee. So he could take a point away just for being unsportsmanlike. Is Sassing back at the ref not allowed? Box not. has a free. <laughs> hands are free, ladies. Hands are free. Let her go, Belinda. Yeah, Quente had a good little grab in there, too. Dylan Parsley in the corner of Belinda Quente. And he was there in the corner of Melissa Hernandez in the last fight. Huh? Coming to the final seconds now of round number five, and it's just kind of more of same. Ten seconds, stop at the bell. Really not stop as much bell. about what Holly Holm is doing, but what Lara Puente is not. Stop at the bell. And to five. <laughs> Undisputed welterweight champion. Putting her IFBA belt on the line tonight against Belinda Laracuente. Let's create a little low. You know, there's been a lot of talk, Barry, about a possible women's super fight between Holly Holm, should she win tonight, and the undefeated Mary Jo Sanders, who is kind of the queen of Chicago. Daughter of Charlie Sanders. Right. Right. No, 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 don't push your head down. Stop. Lion. She's undefeated, 25-0. and 0. Don't push your head down. Let's go. And there is Box. some talk that that could possibly be next for Holly Holm. Should she get by Belinda Laraquante? It appears, uh, it appears as though both sides are agreeable to the fight. What happened in this first half of this year? But Holm has to get by Belinda Laraquante here tonight. Laraquante, I thought, was coming faster in that last round, Barry. But she comes straight forward. Now they asked her between rounds. Hands are free. She's coming forward. Free. Throw the jab. Yeah, she's not doing much business. And she's just kind of following home around. And home just kind of doing what she needs to do. It's nothing you know, out of the ordinary, but it's, it's effective. Just fine and be quiet. But that's home style. She'll just wear you out. Because we saw when we saw her fight Anna Maris and Sakurado last year. Sakurado was throwing and uh -huh. landing, uh -huh. and, and home was really pushed to the limit in that fight. But nonetheless, she was able to win it. So Belinda's got to come with more than she has so far. Although she's landing some now. She is. She just slipped the right hand in a moment ago. But again, is it enough? We're coming back. 